And here we have another customer that is running in AWS. Uh, we see we've got one client, and that is under the class HashiStack. We also have a number of jobs that are running. So we have our web app, which is our scalable application. Uh, we also have our autoscaler, which has been loaded with A plus the scaling policy for our HashiStack class. And so we're going to run some loads to our application. And what we should see over here quite immediately is we get a pretty big increase in the current number of connections per instance of our application. And the autoscaler will take over in a, in a second and it will scale our number of allocations within this job to meet the demand. And if by some time speedening magic, uh, we now have four instances of our application running and that averages up to 10 connections per instance, which is what we're looking for. And the knock-on effect of this is that we now have only 5% available memory left on our cluster uh, within this client pool to allocate resources. And so the autoscaler is going to use that cluster scaling policy and evaluate this. And hopefully it will decide that we want to scale out the number of clients so that we have more room for more scaling, for deployments, and for even HA reasons, so that if we lose a node, uh, we still have the capacity to, to migrate work and keep it all running. And if I imagine, we now have two running instances within our pool, as shown on the dashboard. Uh, we can take a look over here. And you can see that now we have two eligible clients within that class, and our freeable our available memory and our CPU has gone up to uh, again an acceptable level. And so now what we will do is we will remove all our traffic, it's quite time of our business day. And what will happen here is that the scaler will decide to scale in the application. And as we scale in the application, they will have an excess of resources available on our cluster and we should scale in one of the clients. And we can now see here that we've scaled in our application. Uh, we are down to one running, which is our minimum value. And now we have an excess of CPU and memory available on our cluster. And so again, we'll, uh, the, the autoscaler will evaluate and it will decide to, to scale in and it will pick a node at random at the moment uh, and it will drain all the work off that node uh, and wait for that to complete successfully. It will then detach that node from the autoscaling group and then it will terminate that instance. And then you can see here that it's already done that work and we're down to run one, run one running client, excuse me. And we'll take here that it is ineligible, it's down, and we have a single node left in our cluster. 